This video is a quick demonstration of how to do some surface measurements with the ATS-600. There are a couple of ways to approach this, and something that I want to share with you is how to do surface vector intersections. So I have an example here of a uh, tracker and a surface that is at a very oblique angle to the tracker. And in reality, the, the measured, measurable surface is going to be slightly displaced from it. And so as a result, if I go ahead and do a simple auto measure where I'm auto measuring these points, they'll be a little bit displaced. And let me show you how that works. So if I want to auto measure, I can simply go to here to auto measure and just do a quick streamlined auto measure selecting this group. And I can say OK. And the auto measure dialog will open up. I can just say start the auto measure process. And now as I start measuring, as you see, the, the tracker points at the nominal point and will take a measurement um, directly in line with that point. But if you have any displacement of that surface relative to the actual nominal, then you end up with a little bit of a displacement in the resulting location of the measured points. And that's fine because that's where the actual surface is. But in some cases, that may not be what you really want. Maybe what you really want is to see the thickness of the material or the displacement um, in, you know, along that axis. So you can see that there's some pretty significant differences. And this one here may actually have some deviation with respect to the surface. So what you can do is instead of using a simple auto measure routine, you can go ahead and go up here to guided measurement and use vectors. And before I do that, let me show you the vectors. I'll show you those vectors here. So I built some. And you can do this simply by using a query, using the nominal points and add, adding an offset so that you can build some vectors relative to the surface that are normal to that surface. And you can use those instead. And what the tracker will do is it will search up and down that vector and find the actual measured location that is um, within tolerance along that vector. So let's just look at that real quick. So if I go to measure batch of vectors, select those vectors, and hit OK, I will once again start an auto measure operation. And here we go. So you can see as the points are measured, suddenly they are coming in exactly on the vector as opposed to being in line between the line of sight and the nominal point. And that can be very helpful for analysis purposes. So you can see how they're coming in where you want them to come in as opposed to where they were with the auto measure function. And this is one of the things that's really cool about the ATS-600 is that you can do these surface measurements and you can simply adjust the location of the measurement using the vector as a reference. Whereas if you're constrained to a reflector, that makes things a little bit more difficult. So that's the idea with surface vector intersections, um, that you can simply select a vector. And there's one other setting that I should probably show you. So if I come back to the full interface here and go to the settings, in the Leica ATS, there is a set of settings that allow you to adjust the tolerances for that. And there's two different settings. So there's the deviation along the vector. So how far, how thick of a piece will it actually consider. So if you're way off and you know that you're way off uh, and you expand this distance, it won't even bother taking a point. And then the other one is how close to the vector do you require it to get. So what it'll do is it'll search along the vector until the distance is um, almost exactly on that vector and then it will take a point. And this is um, a basically, you know, three thousandths of an inch is what we have by default. You can also change, you can use a very quick, uh, fast measurement where you just simply use the, um, the overview distance or you can do a full, fast, standard or precise measurement. So those are just a few of the settings for the auto vectors, but once you have that set, you can just leave that, say that's okay, and you don't ever need to use that again. You can basically go up here and just simply use this measure batch of vectors to do this measurement. So that's what I wanted to show you about the idea of using vectors as um, proximity triggers for, or auto measure triggers for the ATS 600.